at this time of um, unbelievable uncertainty and cost down, the John Boy model, uh, I think it's the John Boy companies. Um, is that what you, you had this holding company? Uh, yep. Right? The website? Okay. Um, the John Boy, the John Boy um, model, I would say, of especially with what he did with WinRAR. Um, I mean, when I went to Barack's house in Shanghai, he, we had a discussion and he showed me how he runs his business, similar to I do. But because he's a tech business, everything was there. And he has every checklist for his secretaries to get coffee in the German office. So he doesn't have to manage. <laughs> everything is laid out, which was very impressive to me um, on many levels because retaining employees, teaching employees, training, everything was collective. And so I want to explore that in this and let him really come out and advise people in small business. What do you do when you want to create efficiency and you don't have a lot of cash and you know, you want to do something big, welcome to the mentor of mentors, Mr. John boy. You don't hear him on media, but you hear him today. That's kind of stuff. Well, thank you very much for having me. And, uh, I will gladly share some of the tricks, uh, and, uh, it's, it's basically something that, that has become a second nature for me because ever since I started uh, WinRAR, uh, it was all about how can I do things without actually being there on site. So uh, one of my philosophies was um, I don't want to be blinded by day-to-day -day operations. I don't want to be... Uh, following all the problems that that our office is living through every day i want to stay with an open mind and i want to be the visionary in the company i want to be the guy who gives direction so uh i was able to do that because with Angel, my business partner i have a guy in the office who is who is an awesome coo uh he was able to always take care of everything going on in the office and uh was, was smart enough and creative enough to, to tackle all the day-to-day -day operational problems so that I could always say, well, I, I'm basically going to outline everything. I'm going to think about strategy. I'm going to think about the tech. I'm going to think about where we want to take this company um, and not so much worry about how we're actually going to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so I had that luxury that from the beginning, when we moved the office out of out of uh, my space to Trier, where Angel was studying, I put 500 kilometers between myself and and my company, and uh, I was taking the train on Mondays or Tuesdays to go to the office, working hard for two three days, uh, playing hard for three four days, and uh, basically it was always how can I do things uh, in a way that allow me to monitor uh, success rather than monitor uh, everything that's going on. And uh, mm -hmm. with, with, with having WinRAR, it kind of made sense to multiply the philosophy of a compression software, which is all about cutting out repetitions, keeping things small. And we said, why not use that same philosophy for the company. So mm -hmm. when you talk about compression, um, it's all about how do I efficiently solve this amount of data to be stored in in some way. Um, so oh, what, one sec, Brian, one sec, oh. Mr. John Boy. Before before you continue, I think we should formally um, introduce you so that the audience gets to <laughs> understand everything about WinRAR your decompression file and what started your whole journey on entrepreneurship. Usually, right. so I, I'm sorry sure. for interrupting, but I want to get that formality. No I, usually Scott interrupts. Yeah, I mean, you, started, you started rolling. <laughs> well, because like, well, that's he's good stuff. He's excited, man. Yeah. God, he's totally yeah. excited. I can tell. <laughs> Th this, is, this, is the, uh, this is usually when Mr. Holbrook introduces you, but today I think I'm going to...